Hey everyone, great to see you here on my channel. This week it's time for another round of the Arctic Alliance collab. But first I really like to give you an update for my art contest. So as we are on vacation now and I don't have much time currently to do the evaluation for the art contest and the corresponding video, hashtag bad planning. I decided to extend the time frame a bit for the time we are out of town. And the new deadline will be the 10th of June. I absolutely don't want to rush through this video and your artworks because they do deserve so much more than that. And that's why I prefer to do this when I have more time left. I hope you will understand this. Okay, and now it's time to talk about my piece you can see on screen. The theme this time is mask and my concept is super boring, but I wanted to focus on trying out a new art supply. And I also wanted to try out a different technique with watercolors compared to what I normally do. By the way, it was really funny that the theme this time, <laughs> too much TH, <laughs> is masks because the theme for the next YouTube Artist Collective is Masquerade Bowl, so quite similar. And I am going to participate as the guest artist for the YouTube Artist Collective next week, so I'm pretty excited because of that. In this artwork I wanted to incorporate my golden watercolor again after ages of not using that. The gold is pretty cool when I just use it for pictures which are meant for myself. But when I record a video it doesn't look that shiny and bright because this would need a specific angle of the camera which I simply can't arrange with my current setup. So it looks just super lame for you and it's also nearly impossible to make prints out of this. And uh, these were basically the two reasons why I didn't use this wonderful color in the past. But now I really wanted to have a gold in one of my artworks again. After I finished the background I went on to her skin and I normally blend all the layers into each other. So that I have a very smooth look to the skin. But this time I wanted to have some more structure in her skin and so I didn't wet the whole area but colored in just some little parts and let it dry a bit. I really enjoyed painting this dark skin tone and I absolutely prefer all the cool brown tones. I don't know what it is but I absolutely don't like warm brown tones. And my watercolor palette they look basically almost the same and so I used now and then the warm brown tones accidentally, but this didn't really affect the overall skin tone of this piece, luckily. The main thing that I wanted to achieve in this painting was a super white mask on her dark skin. I ordered some white ink in the past because I got a tip on Instagram after I complained about my jelly roll pen. And then I was super hyped for that white ink and I really expected the stuff to work wonders. And yeah, that was not really the case. But I have to admit that my expectations were super high. <laughs> and after I finished the face and let it dry, almost completely <coughs> impatient me, I started to use the white ink. Initially I wanted to do this area with a nib pen and dipping that into the white ink. But this didn't work at all. I don't know why that happened because normally it works totally fine with black ink. So why did this happen with white ink? I don't know. So I changed my plans and I used a very fine paintbrush to put the white ink on the paper. This worked much better but the ink isn't as opaque and white as I expected it to be. 
that it was a bit frustrating, but I simply could have tried out things before I planned a whole piece around an art supply I haven't used a single time before. Yeah, that is the lesson that I've learned. If I would do this piece again, I would do more layers in her face to have an even darker skin tone and I would use masking tape instead of the white ink. And what's your newest art supply? Tell me about it in the comment section down below. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope I will see you next week for my YouTube Artist Collective piece. So see you then. Bye bye.